Empire's hunting Jedi survivors. Now, they know who you are. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is out, and there's a lot to recap on from what happened in Jedi Fallen Order. Also, there's a lot to go over in how these storylines are important to remember with all the new Star Wars shows coming out and how these will tie in to some of those shows potentially. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order begins five years after the Galactic Republic's transformation into an empire in a purge of the old guard known as the Great Jedi Purge, also known as Order 66. Former Jedi Padawan Cal Kest is hiding on the planet of Bracca, where he works as a scrapper salvaging ships from the Clone Wars. An Imperial probe catches Cal using the Force to save his friend Prof, and two Inquisitors are sent to investigate him. After the Second Sisters kills Prof for speaking up against the Empire, Cal makes his escape. He is rescued by former Jedi Knight Seer and a pilot named Grease, who transports him on their ship called the Stinger Mantis. Seer takes Cal to the planet Bogano in the hopes that he can access an ancient vault. On the way to the vault, Cal befriends a small droid named BD-1, who shows him a message from Seer's former Jedi Master, Eno Cordova. It reveals that the vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho, and that a Jedi holocron containing a list of Force-sensitive children has been hidden inside by Cordova. Seer believes the list could help rebuild the Jedi Order, but the only way to access the vault is by following Cordova's path. Cal heads to the Zepho homeworld and explores an ancient temple, finding a clue pointing to Cordova's friend, the Wookiee chieftain, Tarful. On the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk, Cal encounters notorious insurgent Sao Jirura, whom at this point in time, he is trying to recruit for his battles in that movie, and in this game, Cal, who helps free several Wookiees enslaved by the Empire, helps out Sal Gerrera. Cal returns to Zepho to find more clues regarding the vault. He is ambushed by the second sister, who reveals herself as Trilla Siduri, Seer's former Padawan. She betrayed me. Trilla. She explains that she was captured by the Empire after Seer betrayed her hidden location under torture and warns Cal that Seer will inevitably betray him once they find the Holocron. Cal learns he requires a Zepho artifact called an Astrium to unlock the vault before being captured by Haxian brood bounty hunter. He is forced to fight in a gladiator arena owned by Haxian boss Source Tormo. After Seer and Grease rescue him, Cal returns to planet Kashyyyk to meet with Tarful who instructs him to investigate the top of the origin tree. At the top of the tree, he finds another recording of Cordova saying that an astrium can be found in a Zepho tomb in Dathomir before being attacked by the ninth sister whom he defeats. You can't stop the Empire! I can stop you. <laughs> On Dathomir, Cal's progress is impeded by an army of revenants led by the ninth sister Marin, who blames the Jedi for the massacre of her people during the Clone Wars. If you follow the storyline through the Clone Wars show, the Night Sisters can be traced back to also the Mandalorian show. The Magistrate in Mandalorian episode with Soka, you can see that the Magistrate could be either a Night Sister or a relative of Marin. One of the creators had commented saying that the Magistrate was one of the last survivors of Dathomir linking Jedi Survivor to Mandalorian. Back on Bogana, Cal unlocks the vault, experiencing a vision where he rebuilds the Jedi Order, but they are defeated and tortured by the Empire, whom he eventually joins. After escaping the vision, Trilla attacks him and steals the Holocron. Seer resumes her role as a Jedi and knights Cal before revealing she knows where Trilla is going. The pair infiltrates the fortress on Mustafar's oceanic moon Nur, battling their way through legions of stormtroopers before finally reaching Trilla. Cal defeats Trilla and retrieves the holocron. Seer reconciles with Trilla, with the latter returning to the light for a brief moment before Darth Vader appears and kills her. Unable to defeat Vader, Cal and Seer escape from his grasp and are saved from the drowning by Mirren. The crew celebrates their success in the Stinger Mantis until they realize that the children listed on the Holocron will only be in more danger if they become Jedi. Cal destroys the Holocron with a lightsaber and asks, So where to now? Fast forward five years, and this brings us to Jedi Survivor, which is roughly about five years after Fallen Order in 9 BBY, which takes place right around the same year as Obi-Wan Kenobi series and Andor. Now, several things that we have seen linked back to Jedi Fallen Order. BD-1 droid has been seen in the Boba Fett series. We've noticed that the Manistrate in Mandalorian also could potentially be a Night Sister. 
and we know that the Jedi that you save from the Bacta tank in Jedi Survivor can be linked back to the High Republic era due to the symbols on his cloaks. With all of this being said, we know that Cal Kestis is out in the universe and has a high potential in showing up in any of the future shows or movies that Disney is putting out with Star Wars. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content.